my friends are going to story about a long story but we make it shorter so that you all of you can understand we are going to story about the tail topic Peter Pan okay once upon a time Wendy John and Michael Darling live in London and one night Wendy woke to find a strange boy sitting on the floor who was crying and Wendy come approach to that boy my name is Wendy she said who are you why are you crying and then the boy replied I'm Peter Pan I'm crying because my shadow won't stick to me and Wendy said don't cry we can fix that and she sewed Peter Pan shadow to the tips of his shoes and Peter Pan was delighted fly back to Neverland with me and my fairy Tinkerbell Peter back to Wendy you could be our mother and take care of us and then Wendy asked can you teach me on how to fly and Peter Pan agreed let's wake John and Michael when he said you can teach us all to fly then we can live for Neverland the children were soon flying around the room and then swoosh out the window and they all flew Wendy, John and Michael flew behind Peter Pan and Tinkerbell following the golden arrows that pointed the way to Neverland finally they were flying all over the island the lost boy lived with me and Tinkerbell I'm the captain Peter Pan said the Indians live over there and the mermaids live in the lagoon and there are pirates too led by the captain who pirates exclaimed Wendy, John and Michael all in the same breath Wendy was frightened but Michael and John wanted to see the pirate right away Who's the means pirate ever Peter one but he is afraid of crocodile the crocodile bit of hooks hand and like the test so much that it follows him hoping for the more luckily for the hook the crocodile swallow a clock it goes tick mock and once hook when the crocodile is near me Not sure if she really wants to stay, to stay in Neverland. After all, Peter led Wendy, John, and Michael to his house under the woods. They entered through a door hiding in an old tree stump. She, the lost boy, said, and Wendy, they shoot. Hurry, hurry! Will you be our mother? I'm only a little girl. Wendy answered. I have her experience, but the lost voice looked so sad. She said, I do my best. That night, when they thought the boys into bed and told them the tale of Cinderella, life was present in the cozy house under the woods. When they looked care of the boys, would explore the island during the day. At the night, they gave her for meal, play make beautiful game, and listen will Wendy told them stories. One day, Peter and the children went exploring near the mermaid's neighbor. Suddenly, Peter yelled, Pirates take over. The boys ran, ran away and Peter and Wendy hid. Peter and Wendy could see that the pirates had tried up suddenly the Indian princess. The priest had left her on a rod in the lagoon. Peter was afraid that Tiger Lily would drown when the tide came in. He had to save her. In a voice that sounded like, just like Captain Hood, he should set her free. But Captain, the pirate will you order us to bring her here? Let's her go. Peter Road still sounds like food. I, I, the pilot said and set Tiger Lily free. She's, she's gone quickly back to the Indian camp. When 
Captain Hood find what happening. His new with the head trick, his pirate Hood become ferocious. The night when he told the boy story about three children who left their parents and flew to Neverland. Their mother and father missing them very much. The children love Neverland, but they never forgot their home. Did they ever go back? The lost boss asked him. Oh yes, when he replied. They flew home to their mommy and daddy and everyone was happy. The story made Wendy, John and Michael homesick. They decided to fly home the next morning. If you come back with us, we need to the lost back, the, the lost boys. I'm sure our mother and father will adopt you. Hooray! Shot at the bar, jumping with the dog. When you're asking Peter, Peter and Tinkerbell who come home with them too, but Peter did want to leave. When go up, come tell him what to do. Peter was sad that his friends were leaving. Still, he wanted the children to arrive home safely. So he asked Tinkerbell to guide them on their trip. Early the morning, Tinkerbell and the children leave the house under the wall. But Captain Hook pirates were hiding never. The capture of the children teased them out and marched them towards the pirate team. Tinkerbell and Skep and hurry back to tell Peter what happened. It's who or me this time. Yearly Peter to Tinkerbell as the floor or save Wendy and the boy. On the pirate ship, Captain Hook demanded, Who wants to become a pirate? The boys shook their heads, then make them walk to the plank. Hook roared. The boys tried to look brave, but they were afraid. Suddenly, they heard tick tock on the crocodile. Now, it was Captain Hook's turn to be afraid. But tick tock was only Peter, imitating the, the crocodile. He flew onto the deck and shouted, I've got you now, Hook. Captain Hook jumped up and swung at Peter with his sword. Peter was quick and stepped away. He slashed at Hook with his own sword until they came close to the edge of the ship. Peter lunged with his sword and Hook fell into the sea where the crocodile was waiting for him. And that was the end of Captain Hook. When Peter was certain that Hook was gone forever, he and Tinkerbell set off for London with Wendy and the boys. Wendy's parents were happy to see the children again. Mr. and Mrs. Darling hugged Wendy, John and Michael and agreed to adopt the lost boys. They asked Peter to stay with them also, but he said, I'm going to stay in Neverland where I, ne where I never have to grow up. Goodbye then, Peter. We'll miss you. Everyone called Peter Pan and thank you and Peter Tanker belt wave goodbye and flew to Neverland. That's all for our Peter Pan story. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it.